So in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the difference between real-time path tracing and iRay inside NVIDIA Omniverse. So I have this here, this little short car animation that I made. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. I'm mainly entirely in Omniverse rendered in path tracing, and I was pretty happy with it, although some of y'all thought it was too slow. Even my wife said it was slower, but next time it's going to be faster. But anyways, what you're looking at right now is the real-time rendering right here, as you can see. So it looks pretty good. You have some nice kind of reflections here. Now this is a video game car, so it's not really a high quality, I wouldn't say, even the materials are still pretty gamey. And we have an environment here, which is kind of like an HDRI, but it's called a sun study, which is, you know, I can actually change the, the time of day and things like that by just kind of rotating it. It's an, I would say an active HDRI, which is kind of cool. But what I'll do is I'll flip it over to path tracing. So we'll take a look at that. So you can see right here and then I'll flip it over to IRA. And as you can see, that resolved. Again, this is only 64 pixels uh, right now, which looks pretty good. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and kind of, I'm gonna remove the noising real quick, and then I'll go ahead and change this to maybe 10, 24 to just get some more pixels in there. And I'm just gonna wait for this to resolve and you're gonna see that the image is a lot better. Um, again, it's pretty darn good. You see a little bit more bounce right here in the shadow area and the reflection is not too bad. I can actually see the clouds from the HDRI from the sun study uh, environment right here. So it's pretty cool. Uh, right now it's at 490, so it's getting better there. It's resolving a lot better. So what I'll do is once this is done right here, I'm going to print screen it and just get an image so we can all compare it in After Effects. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just do it for the real time as well. And then what I'm going to do last is the IRA, which is the NVIDIA IRA that's built in NVIDIA Omniverse. Now this is going to take a minute. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video for now. Okay, so this is the IRA version. And as you can see down here, you definitely get a lot more detail. And you can see a lot more down here, the reflections are a lot better. They look so much better than real time in path tracing. And again, this is insane, right? Now, obviously right now, uh, not everything is supported, I'm guessing, because the grass materials kind of turn dark. But if you're looking at this right here, as far as car goes and any hard surface for that matter, this looks fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and print screen this and then we'll go to After Effects to really just compare to three renderers. Okay, so here we are in After Effects and I have all the images kind of just stacked on top of each other, starting with real time right now. This is on top of the stack. So you're looking at the real time version and then what I'll do is I'll flip it over to path tracing now. So this is real time and this is path. Again, you're gonna notice down here, there's just not enough of data there. It's gone, it's crushed. But if whenever you switch over to path tracing, you're getting a lot more bounce down there, which is kind of cool. And again, the clouds right here, they look a lot better than real time. Cause here's real time. To me, there's just, I don't know, there's a little bit of morphing, like, you know, you would kind of see in the car or vehicle. And uh, what I'll do is I'll go to path tracing and iRay. So you look at a path right now and I'll switch over to iRay. And again, the difference Look at this, this is IRA, and now you have some reflections even right here. If you look at this area, I'm gonna turn it on, path, that's path tracing, and now that's IRA. So I'm going to try to render something in IRA in NVIDIA Omniverse and see if I can pull it off because looking at this here, I'm pretty darn impressed with NVIDIA's IRA renderer. It's just insane, man. It looks so freaking good. You just see a lot more there. And the reflections are much nicer. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show y'all really the different renderers in NVIDIA Omniverse. You have real time, you have path tracing, and you have NVIDIA IRA. Peace out.